Yeah, coach. Good. Fire away. How was it today? I thought it was good. I thought our energy was real good. Um, guys came out there and were really flying around, trying to play fast, trying to move around quick. And obviously, like I say every Tuesday, there's a lot of stuff we got to clean up in the next couple of days because it's the first day of putting in the plan. But I thought we had great energy and a real bounce in our step. And guys just seemed excited and fired up and ready to go this week. What do you think was the difference with the offense as far as the Alabama game to the Texas and game? What do you think was the difference? Um, we just went out and executed after the first three series. You know, I think in Alabama we just we just didn't do the little things that we know how to do. We didn't make the simple catches and throws, and, and uh, we just we just played poorly. And, and uh, the other three games of the year, I think we've played pretty well, showing that we're an offense and go score a lot of points. And hopefully, we don't have any more Alabama games. Hopefully, we just keep putting points on the board. Um, London wasn't wearing yellow today. Does that mean he's cleared? Um, it, it means that we keep an eye on him all week and see how he's going. But he, he was able to practice today, not in yellow, and that was good to see. And we'll just judge him each day and see how he how he comes along and make our decision in the week. Running game a lot better against A&M. Talk about the offensive line and and how they played against A&M. They played, but you know, a couple of them had their best games. You know, Auctioner had his best game he's had yet. Love and Petrus, you know, played well. Ray, Ray had a better game, so I think they did a better job up front. Grayson and Cook kind of traded on and off, and you know they all they all probably had their best games running the ball, you know, run blocking wise, and, and that's just something. You know, we talk about every week, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Those are our work days, and we go out and get better during the week. And usually, if you can do that, it'll show up on Saturday. And I think we made big strides during the week last week, and it showed up on the game. I think we made good strides today at practice. So we need to do it again tomorrow and Thursday, and, and then we'll be even better this week than we were last week. Coach, can you talk about Auburn's defense a little bit? Obviously, very good against the pass, forced a lot of turnovers. Yeah, you know, they've, they've caused a lot of turnovers. Um, but they do a good job of, he has a definite philosophy of a, how he's going to play his own defense. And, and they all read the quarterback and get to the football. And, and they've got a couple tips and guys have made plays. And I think they got two real good defense alignment. Um, they just do a good job. They've always been good on defense. And, you know, they, they still do a good job. And it'll be a good challenge. But, we're going to be ready to go. You, you know, you guys always like to preach, you know, yards after contact, and obviously Joe Adams' catch and, and some other plays. Just kind of talk about what you saw as far as yards after contact against a &M. Well, it was big. I mean, we talk every week, you know, we want to get that yards after contact, yards after the catch, and, and the running backs finally beat us. That was the first game they beat us at receiver. So uh, they finally got more thanks to Ronnie's long run. And uh, But it's a big competition between the two groups. And whenever we can get a, a lot of yards, by both groups, then we're going to put a lot of points on the board, and, and that's just a matter of, of not not letting them tackle you. You know, believe you're going to break tackles, believe you're going to run through it, and, and doing a good job of running hard. And I think we did that, and that's that'll be a real big important thing this week because a lot of times they'll let you catch the ball in front of them and come up and want to make plays on you. We got to make sure we get a lot of yards after the catch. Was it close between the two games? Uh, they beat us pretty good this week. Yeah, all the first three games we beat them pretty good. They got us this week. That was even with Joe's performance? Even with Joe, you know, Joe, I think Joe had 77 yards after the catch himself, but he didn't have much help from his buddies. So, and then Wingo got touched after about seven yards, so he got all the rest of his yards on that long run, so they got us. You don't get to claim the running backs when you throw them? Or no, they're, they're, they're a group and they're ours. That's, and, if, and if we, like Joe had a 15 yard run, but he doesn't get yards after he gets touched on that. Talked about London's health a little bit. DJ, talk about the health of the guys. Um, you know, London was out there not in yellow today, and he was running around. It'll just be something we'll watch as the week goes on. Um, and then, you know, the trainers are on the other guys. I, I just like Coach London, so I saw him. But to be honest, until I watch the tape, I'm not sure of how DJ was today. You know, obviously, uh, you know, DJ and my both, both made plays for you this year, but, you know, obviously you guys aren't using them nearly as much as you did, you did last year. Is that just maybe a testament of? how the receivers and other running backs have kind of stepped up and you know, you're not having to rely on just maybe two guys as much as you did? I think so. I think we just got more weapons now. You know, you got more weapons, and the more weapons you're going to have, the harder it is for the defense to defend in. So we can take what the defense gives us now instead of forcing them to just two guys. And, and then, you know, we're putting more points on the board right now with more weapons than we did just giving it to two people. So I think that's a good thing. How has Malik developed his ability to make checks and checks? He's done a nice job. I think it, you know it's a process as the year goes on. He'll get better and better. But uh, he, he's a smart football player. I think that's one of his strengths. He does a good job of understanding football and does a good job checking for us. Time for one more question.
Coach, last week was, was kind of a must-win game. You know, you, you all lost two. You needed to win that one. Y'all haven't won a big SEC game in Fayetteville in a while. Can you talk about what that means? Um, you know, we just we want to beat Auburn. You know, they're undefeated. We're going to be on national TV at 11 o'clock in the morning, and that's a big game. And we're going to do everything in our power. And, and the kids were – players were real fired up today. I think as a group we're all excited to go out there. So it, it's a big game for us. We're going to do everything we can to get after them. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach.